Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are King, standing here in the midst of us. We raise you up with our praise, and as we worship, build your throne, and as we worship, build your throne, and as we worship, build your throne, come Lord Jesus and take your place. Jesus, we enthrone you, we proclaim you our King, standing here in the midst of us we raise you up with our praise and as we worship build your throne and as we worship build your throne and as we worship build your throne Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, you. take your rightful Hallelujah, place. Lord in our lives lord we give Praise you the you, center the most important Hallelujah. place in our life lord come Hallelujah, father come lord. jesus come Hallelujah. holy spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah, lord. Praise bless you, lord. Lord. Bless bless you, lord. Lord. lord bless you lord jesus mighty is our god mighty is our savior lord praise you jesus thank you lord praise you lord bless you lord lord as the psalmist says where does my help come from it comes from the lord, lord. the maker of heaven and earth In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a girl named Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to her son. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High God. Mary said, I am a virgin. How can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you and God's power will rest upon you. The Holy Child will be called Son of God, for there is nothing that God cannot do. Amen. Amen. There is nothing that you cannot do, Lord. There I, is nothing that you cannot do. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. Amen. Each of us is wondering, Am I really supposed to be in this family? With this mother, father, brother, sister? Am I supposed to be single? Or why am I married to this spouse? Am I supposed to have my home in this land? Am I supposed to work in this place? Let the angel's voice ring out to you and me. Peace be with you. Thank you, Lord. God is with you and has greatly blessed you. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be a blessing wherever you are. 
Amen, Lord. For God's power will rest on you. For you are a child of the Most High God. Amen. Like Mary, let us say, I am the Lord's servant. May it happen to me as you have said. I am the Lord's servant. May May it happen happen to me as as you you have have said. said. Can we say that again? Truly surrendering every area of our life. No matter what the consequence, no matter what the outcome. Can we say it with faith, looking at our Eucharistic Lord. I am the the Lord's Lord's servant. servant. May May it happen happen to to me me as as you have have said. said. How great are you, Lord. How great is your mercy How great are the things you have done for me Yes, Lord How great are you, Lord Your loving kindness It's swelling my heart as I sing How great are you, Lord Sing it once more How great are you, Lord How great is your mercy How great are the things you have done for me
Lord, have you really chosen me? I am the least in my household and in among my brothers and sisters. In my workplace, I am not recognized and misunderstood. I have a storm in my life and I have doubts and fears and they trouble me. I am struggling to forgive those who have hurt me. I am doing my best to walk on the narrow road and I am fighting to keep sin away from my life. Is it really me, Lord, you have called to serve and to follow you? My brother, my sister, this is Jesus speaking to you. Remember, my child, you did not choose me. It is I who chose you. Since you know you are spiritually poor and mourn, I will comfort you. Amen. Your humility unlocks my blessings and all God's promises will be showered on you. Thank you, Lord. You will not be alone. For my Father and I will come to you and live with you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And when you are alone, I will reveal myself to you. Amen. My peace I give you, not as the world does, but my peace. In the world you shall have trouble, but be brave, I have overcome the world. Amen. Thank you, Father. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it so the Father may be glorified. I will now pour out my Spirit upon you, for I, Jesus, am the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Spirit rain down, rain now, Holy Spirit rain down, rain now, oh comforter and friend. How we need your touch again, Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down. Let your power fall, let your voice be heard. Come and change our hearts as we stand on your word. Friend, how we need your 
touch again. Holy Spirit, rain down. Rain down. Holy Spirit, rain wherever you are just open your palms you want to kneel you kneel you want to stand you stand let it but we are going to ask for the same holy spirit open the that resurrected jesus from heaven. the dead to walk into your let home to anoint rain. every part of your being let it your rain. fears your anxieties your open sicknesses whatever it is where the spirit of truth reigns he will come in like a flood none of us know where the spirit blows but it blows as it wills let it ignite your life encounter the power of the spirit jesus is closest companion was the holy spirit he never did anything without the power of the holy spirit let it rain Let the love of the Father and the Son enter your life right now. Let it rain. Let it rain on our homes, Lord. Open the floodgates of heaven on us, Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain on our jobs, Lord. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain on our families, Lord. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. is an awesome god god he reigns from, from heaven, heaven above with wisdom power and love our god is an awesome god our god is an awesome god god he reigns from, from Power and love of God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome My sisters and brothers there's nothing more that we need than the love of the father the son and the spirit that one encounter that the samaritan woman had was life changing that one encounter that zacchaeus had was life changing that one encounter the thief had on the cross 
was life-changing. Even as we pray the divine mercy, ask for that. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find the Lord. Knock and every door of heaven will be open for you. Ask. He is the face of mercy. He is the Father's face. He is the Spirit. Your triune God wants to bless you. Tell the Lord, I don't want to remain the same. I want to know you, Lord, more deeply, more intimately each day. Let my life count for something, Lord. Let my life be centered around you. Even as we sing, see the rays reaching you, touching you. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul, divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus. Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion Mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy 
O blood and water which gush out for the souls of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us we trust in you O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us we trust in you O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us we trust in you As we continue to adore our Eucharistic Lord, just believe as you imagine the rays of mercy, the divine rays, the blood and water entering you at this very moment, entering your Son that you are desperately praying for, entering your spouse that you are praying for, entering your work situation, entering that sickness that doesn't seem to go away, entering into every part of your being, your mind that is so chaotic at this very moment. Let the divine rays enter in giving you peace, giving you consolations, giving you assurance that God is with you and but with him all things are possible. Healing grace are pouring out The blood and water of Jesus Healing grace are pouring out Healing grace are pouring out Enter deeply Healing grace are pouring out Receive Healing grace are pouring out Healing grace are pouring out. I love you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Healing grace are pouring out. Healing grace are pouring out. I love you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Even as in place softly, we continue to pray for the family. Let those healing rays surround your family right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every member of my family. I believe that each member of my family is your special gift to me. And I ask you to forgive me for the innumerable times I have not treated them as your children. Forgive us for the sins we have committed against one another. Father, I surrender to you the problems we are experiencing in our family. And I ask you in to intervene, Lord, and set right what is wrong in our families. Father, come into our lives and our family problems. Send your holy angels to protect us from all temptations, harm and danger. Send forth your spirit so that each one of us will be recreated in your image and likeness and the peace of your Holy Spirit will flow into our families and remain with us now and forever. Amen. Let us kneel. Let us bow in adoration to this sacrament so great. Your rage, you and power 
perfect worship. All the old master may lay, senses cannot grasp this marvel. Faith must serve to compensate. Glory, honor, adoration. Let us sing with one accord. Praise be God, Almighty Father. Praise be Christ, His Son, our Lord. Praise be God, the Holy Spirit. Triune God, it be adored. Amen. Divine the divine praises. Blessed, blessed be God. Blessed, blessed be His holy name. Blessed, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God, God and true man. Blessed, blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Sisters and brothers, we thank you for your participation every evening. We bless God for this beautiful healing rain, this like a bath, refreshing each one of us, cleansing us from deep within. We thank God for this anointed couple, Audrey and Ian, who minister to us now practically every Friday, the day of the Lord's divine mercy, allowing us to really soak in His mercy. Reminding you two special announcements as we have journeyed together this time of Lent, we come now to the peak as we enter the Holy Week two weeks from now. And so next week in our final burst of preparation, we have a special Ignite Lenten retreat from the 27th till the 31st, 9 to 9.30 p.m. Some of the most anointed speakers in the city of Mumbai will be preaching so inviting you all, spread the word, share the link, invite others to join as well. The second announcement is tomorrow evening, four young men will be ordained to the priesthood in the Archdiocese of Bombay. Please pray for them right from tonight till tomorrow evening, 6 p.m., that the Lord will truly welcome and prepare these four men into his vineyard. Good night and God bless you.